Hello, super quick intro. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the solution for the Hanayama padlock puzzle. Now there's two moves to solve in this puzzle and those two moves have to be repeated twice each in slightly different positions. And it's all about moving those two middle silver pieces into different orientations or an orientation that eventually allows us to separate it. And once you've then taken it apart, we'll then show you how you can put it back together. And that's enough chit chat. Let's crack on with that solution. Okay, so here we have a fully assembled padlock puzzle. And how we're going to solve this one is essentially by doing two moves a couple of times each to maneuver these two silver pieces in the middle around. So in this starting position, you'll notice that on this front piece, the gap is on the left hand side here, but on the outside of the actual piece, if that makes sense. And then the back piece has its gap on the right hand side as we're looking at it from this direction where you can see the padlock and the keyhole engraving as opposed to the other side which just has the Hanayama engraving. So what we're going to do is yeah, a series of two moves a couple of times to separate these two pieces. And as we're going along, it's going to be hard to show you at which position these two holes are in. So if you are sort of part way through solving this or putting it back together, part of your task, I guess, is going to be to identify the current position that you're in and compare it to the position that we are currently in at that stage in the puzzle or when we get to that stage in the puzzle as we're going through this solution. So for the actual solution, what we're going to do is we're going to tilt it so that these two middle pieces we can hold in this position so that the line split in them is vertical because it's just easy to, easy to hold and to maneuver in that position. So what we're going to do once we've got that line vertical is this front silver piece, we're going to line up that gap in there with that vertical line. And then with the piece behind, we're going to line it up so that it is exactly opposite the front silver piece. Okay. Once we're in this position, we're going to lift the padlock piece up and push the keyhole piece back and you see that it just fell into the position then that we're going to end up in. So this is where we want to be. Padlock up, keyhole down. From a side on position it should look like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull and separate those two pieces into this position here. From a side on view, what we're then going to do is swap over these two pieces. So this piece on the right is going to go from the bottom to the top and this piece on the left is going to go from the top to the bottom just like this. Then we're going to put those two pieces back together and you'll notice that those two gaps that were on the outside of these two silver pieces are now both on the inside. What we're going to do next is we're going to maneuver this back piece around to here and seems quite random from this angle but if we look here you'll notice that we've lined up all those lines in there so it should look like this then what we're going to do is we're going to push the padlock piece back and the keyhole piece forwards so we're in this position here again just take a note of that then what we're going to do is slide the padlock piece up slide the keyring piece down and end up here we're going to go back to a side on view now here and we're going to do the same we did with that first move we're going to swap the top piece to the bottom and the bottom piece to the top it might take a little bit of fiddling around but once you've got it you can then slide those pieces back together and yet again we've ended up in a different orientation of where the gaps are on the silver piece in comparison to where these two middle pieces are what we're going to do next is we're going to repeat the first move that we did. So we've got that vertical line. We're going to line it up with the front piece gap there. We're going to put the back piece exactly opposite that end. And again, it just fell into position there. But what we're going to do first is make sure we've got the right position. So we're in here. These two silver pieces are up at each other. This vertical line is in line with that gap of that front piece. The padlock piece we're going to lift. The key ring piece we're going to push down from a side on view should look like this. And then from there, we're gonna separate those two pieces again. We're gonna come back to that side on view. 
we're going to swap again the sides so the right hand one is going from the bottom to the top and the left hand one is going from the top to the bottom so we should end up like this before we come back to the middle to put those pieces back together okay and the final move is we're not going to move the top silver piece we're going to move the bottom silver piece to this position here so from the top one that li that should line up in that position there and from the bottom we should have exactly the opposite it's quite hard to see that but we should end up in this position here what we can then do is pull the padlock or pull the key ring piece towards us push the padlock piece away from us and all we have to then do is slide the key ring uh, the keyhole piece up the padlock engraving piece down and we have separated all those four pieces from there and for reassembling the padlock puzzle the first thing we need to do is make sure that we get the right piece going connecting or the right two pieces connecting together before we put all four pieces back together so what we're going to do is you'll notice that there's a very slight difference between these two pieces these two pieces are exactly the same apart from the engravings uh, but these two pieces are slightly different you'll notice that on the front here there's sort of two knobbly bits on the front whereas on this piece there is just one now the, the one the piece with just one knobbly bit is going to go with the keyhole piece here and the one with two is going to go with the padlock piece here now obviously one of these has to be backwards and it's going to be this one with the one knobbly bit that we're going to flip around and connect in here and that is going to sit in this position here so line your puzzle up in exactly the same position as that and then with the padlock piece we're going to come into this position here and when we were taking it apart there was four moves to do that took it apart this first move of putting it, or the first move of which of putting it back together is putting these pieces back together. So now the awkward part is holding these in place and still without letting them move. So obviously you have to sort of pin this piece to here and pin this piece down to here. Also, or whilst getting everything lined up perfectly and then we place these together and slide them into position like this bring it back down to sort of level position here and that's the first move of the four done what we're then going to do is going to do or we are going to slide the back silver piece so it's opposite where the front silver piece was anyway and then we're going to play around with the levels again so the padlock engraving is going to go down the keyhole engraving is going to come towards us so it should look like this before we then slide it apart. We'll come back to this position to slide it apart into here. We'll come back to the side on view to swap sides. So the one on the right hand side with the padlock engraving has gone from the top to the bottom. The one with the keyhole engraving on the left has gone from the bottom to the top. And we're then gonna slide them back together in this position here. Now it's going to look slightly different to, or the next move is going to look slightly different to how we took it apart. What we're going to do is we're going to keep the front silver piece in the same position, but we're going to line the back one up so that the both gaps are actually in pretty much exactly the same position, just like that. And we're then going to, we might as well stay in this position actually. What we're going to do is push the padlock piece towards us, the keyhole piece away from us. And we can then slide the padlock up, slide the key ring down, and end up here. We're going to do the same thing that we've done at every move. We're going to swap the two pieces top to bottom, and we're going to slide them back together into here. And then the final move that we need to do is the same thing that we've done just before the last move we're going to go opposite with the two pieces the front piece gap should line up with this straight line here and then the other piece just goes exactly opposite and the padlock piece is going to be go away from us the keyhole piece is going to come towards us so we are here before we slide it apart 
and then we slide it apart when we're in this position, when we're in the right position. There we go. Once we've got that, we come back to the side on view, we swap bottom to top. So the right hand side should, before we go back to the middle, it should be down. The left hand side piece should be up. We come back to this position, we slide those pieces back together and we end up in that original padlock position. First, the front gap on the left hand side, the back gap on the right hand side, a fully assembled padlock puzzle. So there it is, that is how you disassemble and then reassemble the padlock puzzle. And this is a, a very, very tough puzzle to do. Trying to track things and sometimes just swapping sort of heights from one side to the other can be quite tricky or it seems impossible in certain positions. And if you do come across any problems as you are solving it, just take a step back sometimes. Sometimes just go back a move and then redo the same move that you got stuck on. And sometimes it just works. And if you're still struggling, let me know in the comments below. I will do my very best to help you out and solve the problem that you are trying to solve. And thank you very much for being here. If you want to see me solve the padlock puzzle or any of these other Hanayama puzzles for the very first time and then the step-by-step -step solutions to each and every one of them, then make sure you click my face here to subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.